Welcome to the Get Up. I'm Chris Killian. It's Monday Fun Day, so let's take down some freshly squeezed news. We saw a teaser last week, but over the weekend, Fox rolled out the very first full trailer for The Gifted. This will be the second TV project set in the X-Men universe after Legion, and from the trailer alone, we learned one thing that you should all know by now. You never bully a mutant, especially in a public shower. What the H-double hockey stick are you guys thinking? Didn't you see Carrie? When are these school bullies ever gonna learn? The series also stars Stephen Moyer from True Blood, and one has to wonder, will Rogue cameo in this show, considering Stephen is her real-life hubby? Might as well, she got cut out of Days of Future Past. Fans have launched a Change.org petition for Michael Rooker, who plays Yondu in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, to have a cameo in Disney's upcoming film, Mary Poppins Returns. If you don't know why, then you seriously need to go see the movie. Skip whatever crap Amy Schumer has out, go see Guardians Volume 2. And trust me when I tell you, he's Mary Poppins, y'all. DC has finally announced a project that will pit the heroes of the DC Universe up against the Watchmen, and it will be in stores this November just in time for Justice League. Jeff Johns tweeted this yesterday, revealing the first image, and he said, Everything I have done in comics has led to Doomsday Clock. Johns went on to say that the standalone story will have an impact on the entire DC Universe, and it will affect everything moving forward. No word yet if Dr. Manhattan is going to put on pants for this story, but if Batman's expression tells us anything, do you guys know what this is? It's a logo, yes. A logo for the Transformers spinoff simply known as the Bumblebee Movie. Are you freaking kidding me? Not so subtly ripping off the Dark Knight logo, huh? This is the worst idea I've ever heard. I'd rather this be a sequel to that horrible Jerry Seinfeld B movie that no one seems to remember, for good reason. I'd rather let this B girl from the Blind Melon video tap dance on my face for two hours than watch this movie. Hell, I'd rather all the bees go extinct Okay, too far, but you guys get what I'm saying. And that's it. Say hi on Twitter at Chris Killian, and always keep it on comicbook.com for the best geek news.